it's um, May 23rd, 2023. You're looking at Hukra Velosa Caramel. Right next to it is Epimedium Sulfurium Versicolor. And then on the far right is Hosta Fragrant Bouquet. The anchoring plants to this apartment are Beehive Japanese Holly, which was created at Rutgers University by the plant breeder, a guy named Elwin Orton. Now, I'll make a couple of comments here. By the way, that spirea is, I think it's, um, I think it's gold flame, but it might be gold mound. It doesn't matter. Um, these plants were put in in likely year 2006, maybe 2007 at the latest. And as I said from the beginning of this video, this is 2023. So all of these plants have thrived here. Now these, these beds are under drip irrigation and goes on sometime in the summer months, like once a week, I forgot for how many minutes or minutes per day. But nonetheless, these are incredibly durable plants, long lived. Uh, the hookra velosas are the best. They are the native hookras, um, native to, I guess, the US. And caramel is probably one of the most popular and most successful varieties that ever made it into the landscape trade. And absolutely indestructible are epimediums. So there were several plants put in here all these years ago and they have spread. So the flowers are gone, but now you're looking at this tremendous foliage through the rest of the season and even into the winter months. And the nice thing about beehive is that it's a really slow growing Japanese holly. So these don't have to be pruned but once during the summer months. So those are our anchoring plants to the many of the apartments down here <clears throat> in South Jersey, a place called Hunter's Glen in Delran, which is the suburb of Philadelphia. So there's uh, the entrance, there's the beehives. And again, I just want to stop here and finish on this um, Hukra Velosa Caramel. We've used this a lot down here and it has succeeded in every location, whether it be full sun, shade or part shade. So this is shade all morning long and then gets sun in the afternoon. I'm shooting this video at about 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, so just a little um, assortment of plants uh, worthy of any landscape. This obviously being a commercial landscape and um, they're tough. They're really tough. There are no deer down here, at least in many locations. That's why we can get by with the hostas. And fragrant bouquet, which doesn't flower until the end of August, September, is smells like lemon when those blossoms come out. Okay, there you go. Hunters Glen Apartments, end of May, and you're looking at uh, herbaceous perennials and uh, a woody anchoring plant.